prayer. And he rode upon a chariot and did fly. Yeah, he did fly upon the wings of the wind. He's talking about so-called UFOs, the chariots of the heavenly father, being covered by the clouds of the skies, being under that cover until they reveal themselves as they descend from the third heaven to come upon Babylon the Great and the whole earth. Right in the midst of World War III, the Bible speaks about the chariots of Yahweh, Bashim Yahushai, Bashim Kapadash, and this will be a delivery method out of Babylon the Great, right before the Great Destruction. This is how that new Jerusalem coming out down from the heavens will be brought down via the chariots to establish order upon planet Earth. Psalms 18 and 11, he made darkness a secret place. His pavilion round about him with dark waters and thick clouds of the skies. Verse 12, at the brightness that was before him, his thick clouds passed, hailstorm, coals of fire. The Lord also thundered in the heavens, and the highest gave his voice, hailstones and coals of fire. Yeah, he sent out his arrows and scattered them, and he shot out lightnings and discomfited them. These are talking about lasers coming out of the chariots of the Heavenly Father, the so-called UFOs, to melt up two-thirds of our people. We, which are heathens, which are falling after the ways of death. And we call you heathens because you're not returning back into your nationality. You're not following the words commanded by the Heavenly Father and the servants, the prophets. Falling after the ways of oppression. Falling after the workers of iniquity. And the other nations, starting with the so-called white man. This is Psalms 68 and 24. They have seen by going by goings, O oh God, even the goings of my God, my King, in the sanctuary. Why? Because the sanctuary is in the heavens, in the third heavens. And you see there in your sightings of these so-called UFOs. These are the angels, the ministers of the Heavenly Father, watching upon the earth until that time comes when they will come upon Babylon the Great, which is a miracle, and deliver the true believers of the Holy Bible, which are the Israelites, which are the real Jews that the Bible speaks of, you so-called black, Hispanic, Native Americans, which are God's chosen people. Which is why there's a great price to pay, starting with Babylon the Great and the workers of iniquity, starting with the so-called white men and the other nations of the earth, because they oppress God's chosen people and they continue to put to this day. So there, there's a price that has to be paid for that, which is that great wrath of God, which is going to be poured down when the ICBM missiles hit America, Babylon the Great, right in the midst of World War III, which is Armageddon. Which these missiles will hit through the whole earth too. But Babylon the Great is the first that will be destroyed. Because Yahweh Shah Mashiach, he said he will return when you call Jesus Christ as an angelic power with his ministers, with the Elohim, the angels, the chariots of the Heavenly Father, so called UFOs, will cover the earth and Babylon the Great to melt up with the lasers, two thirds of our peoples and the other nations. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 11, verse 4. The Most High Power, Yahweh, is in His holy temple. The Lord's throne is in heaven. His eyes behold, His eyes lakes try the children of men. Verse 5, the Lord tried the white righteous, but the wicked, and him that loved the violence, his soul hated. Verse 6, Psalms 11 and 6. Upon the wicked ye shall rain snares, fire, and brimstone, and a horrible tempest, 
This shall be the portion of their cup. So this is the portion of two-thirds of our people. This is the portion of the workers of iniquity. This is the portion of the so-called white men, starting in Babylon the Great, when the chariots covered the America Babylon the Great, to melt you heathens up with the ICBM missiles and the lasers of the Heavenly Father. So the Most High raises up and throws down. But he, he watches over the hearts of men to try them, and he tries the righteous, and we're all to be found faithful on that day, which is why we come out on the highways and byways to give you the true words, the true understanding of the Holy Bible in these latter days. This is the book of Hebrews, chapter 12, verse 15. Hebrews 12 and 15, looking diligently, lest any man fail of the grace of God, lest any root of bitterness springing up trouble you, and thereby many be defiled. So this isn't about being bitter, especially in these times, to those that believe in the testimony of the servants of prophets. The Most High, the Yahweh Mashiach, he said in the book of Revelation, to hold those things which thou hast. And he who endures unto the end will have power over the nations of the earth. So we're not letting bitterness to spring up within us because we know that the Heavenly Father will watch over the righteous. And if we're found worthy to escape the things that will come to pass, the great destruction, the great death coming upon America, Babylon, great, and throughout the whole earth, we will do that and we will remain faithful until the end if we're of that faithful number. Hebrews 12 and 16, lest there be any fornicator or profane person, such as Esau, who for one more so me, so his birthright. So the so-called white man who you call the Edomites, he came out all red like a hairy garment. Genesis 25 and 25. He is a profane man. He's a fornicator. Why? Because he causes all the nations of the earth to follow after his wicked ways. To follow after his philosophies, his pseudoscience, his religions, his doctrines and commandments of men. Hebrews 12 and 17. For you know how that afterward, when he would have inherited the blessing, he was rejected. For he found no place of repentance, though he sought it carefully with tears. So we're not letting any bitterness spring up within us. We're not worried about your scoffers coming out. And scoffing at the words of the Heavenly Father. We're out here to fulfill the ministry that Yahweh Shimi Shai gave us, which is to tell you that you are God's chosen people, so called black, Hispanic, Native Americans, to warn you of great destruction that is coming upon Babylon the Great, which is America as spoken of in Revelation chapter 11. Do not take the RFID chip, Revelation chapter 13, the brand of the beast, which will be put in your forehead or in your hand as this man attempts to establish his new system upon planet earth. But these things will not happen. Why? Because the Heavenly Father will cause great wars, great famine to come upon Babylon Great, which is America. So we're telling you to repent, keep the commandments, follow the law statutes of Yahweh Hashem Shai, which is the Torah. Keep the belief of Yahweh Shai Mashiach, which is why we read in the book of Revelation. Here are those that keep the commandments of Yahweh, of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and the faith in Yahweh Shah Mashiach, because you're supposed to have faith that you believe these things. You're supposed to make your supplication unto the Heavenly Father while you still have the chance. You're supposed to seek the words of this book, which is great wisdom, which tells you what things will happen upon Babylon the Great, upon America, and the great destruction that is coming. So you're supposed to seek, read, and understand who you are, that you are God's chosen people. Pray to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Yahweh in the name of Yahweh Shai. Pray to the east. Watch as well as pray. Pray and fast. Understand the prophecies. Repent, keep the commandments, and have faith. But right before 
and this week great destruction comes upon America, Babylon the Great. It says Second Corinthians chapter six and verse two. For he say, I pray thee in the time accepted, and in the day of salvation have I succored thee. Behold, now we can see acceptable time. Behold, now is thy salvation. Why? Because we have our sort of with the elders and apostles a great millstone who taught us the true understanding of the Bible, and we're waking up to the nationality, to our nationality, to our heritage, you so-called black, Hispanic, and Native Americans. And the truth is out. And the Jews are black, the prophets are back. We got to here to give you the understanding. Right before great destruction, great death, famine, war, pestilence, people camps, where if I be chipped, right before, those that believe in his testimony, he will let the government get delivered out of Babylon the Great, be it the UFOs, the chariots, so, so called UFOs, the chariots of the Heavenly Father. So, this is that everlasting gospel, and it is now in the acceptable time. And these words are a testimony against two thirds of our people, against the other nations, starting with the so called white man, which is the oppressor of the earth. They're telling you your devices will not come to pass. Your councils will not be completed. The Most High establishes one thing and throws down another. And the King of Heaven is coming unto the saints of the Heavenly Father, which are the Israelites, which are the real Jews that the Bible speaks of, which are the so-called Black, Hispanic, and Native Americans, the 12 tribes of Israel. Verse 3, giving no offense in anything, that the ministry be not blamed. So we're not giving you any offense on the doctrine of the Heavenly Father. We're not hiding any of the counsels that he, that he sought and he given unto his servants, the prophets, in these latter days, starting with the elders and apostles of Green Millstone. And we're not speaking any words of God unto you, which is why we come out here by faith to give you the everlasting gospel, which is knowing your nationality, which is knowing the destruction is coming upon Babylon Great. Which is speaking judgment to the other nation and the oppressor of the earth, the so-called white man. You will be destroyed along with two thirds of our people, which are wicked. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 19, verse 10. And I fell at his feet to worship him. And he said unto me, See that you would not, for I am thy fellow servant, and not thy brother, that have the testimony of Yahweh Shai. Worship Yahweh, for the testimony of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy. So that's the type of spirit we're in today. We're you out here to give you the prophecies of the Holy Bible, to tell you to be turned back unto the commandments of the Heavenly Father, to follow the Torah, to bow to believe in Yahweh Shai and Mashiach, we call Jesus Christ to be prepared for great death and great war that is coming upon Babylon the Great. It says Revelation chapter 21 and verse 1 And I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth were passed away, and there was no more sea. So the new heaven and the new earth, and the Greek heaven is talking about. Dominion and rulership, which is what these other camps are not telling you. They're not telling you there will be order in the kingdom of heaven, which will be given unto the saints of the Most High. They're not telling you King David will be upon the throne under Yahweh Shai Mashiach, and then the 144,000, and then those that are delivered out of Babylon the Great, the great multitude, and those that return from the various lands of the earth. Revelation 21 and 2. And now John saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from God out of heaven. Via the UFOs, the so-called UFOs, the chariots of the heavenly Father. And this new city are the people that get delivered out of Babylon the Great. Starting 
with the uh, 12 tribes of Israel, starting with the elect, the 144,000, and then the great multitude, consisting of the 12 tribes of the sons of Jacob, the 10 lost tribes, the northern kingdom, which what you call the uh, tribes that were here in the Americas, and the four tribes, the southern kingdom, starting with the tribe of Judah, the head tribe, which are Negro brothers, which were fed out of Rome in 70 AD into West Africa and were brought into the Americas according to Deuteronomy 28 and 68. You will return back into Egypt on slave ships. There you will be sold to buy men and buy women, and no man will buy you. So that new Egypt is America, as spoken of in Revelation chapter 11. You see that in the dollar bill. You see the pyramid of Egypt. You see the Egyptian customs, and which was the ancient Roman Empire, same customs that are practiced here in America, which is Babylon the Great, through the calendar months, through the pagan practices, through the architecture, through the law structure. So this is Rome all over again. This is that spiritual Egypt spoken about Revelation chapter 11. So it says Revelation 21 and 2, New Jerusalem coming down from heaven. These are those that get delivered out of great death, great destruction. These are those that survive the great tribulation. And it's happening now. We are in Jacob's trouble. But the hour of temptation will be when that final hour, when the so-called white man offers you up the plan of the beast, which is the RFID chip, Revelation chapter 13, to establish his new monetary system, which is a digital system. He's going to put his technology in your body. And right before that happens, which he will cause all people, a lot of people on the earth, to be destroyed because of that. Because they're going to take that brand. The majority are going to take the brand of the beast, the RFID chip. And then, RFID, and then their ICBM missiles will come upon Babylon the Great, melted up. World War III on Mercadon will commence. And there will be great death throughout the whole earth. So this is happening during World War III, Revelation chapter 21 and verse 2. New Jerusalem coming down from heaven. These are those that are delivered out of Babylon the Great by the so-called UFOs, the chariots of the Heavenly Father. It says Revelation chapter 21 and verse 8. But the fearful and unbelieving, the abominable, and murderers, and whoremongers, sorcerers, and idolaters, and all liars, shall have their part in the lake with burn, which burneth with fire and brimstone, which is the second death, which is Babylon great. This is that great lake of fire that John the prophet saw, John the revelator saw. This is America, Babylon great, being melted by ICBM missiles. This is that second death. And two-thirds of our people will have to be melted by the ICBM missiles in Babylon Great and will die next to the oppressor, starting with the so-called white man and the other nations, because they did not believe in the testimonies of Yahweh Barashimi al Shai, the were servants to prophets via the Holy Spirit, the Bukak Wadash. Revelation 21 and 9. Twenty-one and twelve, and had a wall great and high, twelve gates, and at the gates twelve angels, and names written thereon, which are the names of the twelve tribes of the children of Israel. So God is dealing with His chosen people. God is dealing with you so-called Black, Hispanic, and Native Americans. We are God's chosen people. We are Israelites. We have to come back to our nationality. Seek the prophecies of this book, starting with the elders and apostles of Great Middle Stone. Know the things that will come to pass. Seek the wisdom of the Heavenly Father while you still can. Right before there is great death, great destruction, great famine. World War III, Revelation chapter 13, the RFID chip. Pray to Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. Pray to the East. Pass as well as pray. And watch these prophecies come to pass. Pray that you have mercy. That Mosiah shows mercy upon you. 
so that you may see the Son of Man coming in His glory, which is Jesus Christ, who you call Jesus Christ, His name is Yahushua Mashiach. He will return as an angelic power to render vengeance upon His enemies, which are those of the other nations, starting with the so-called white man, the oppressor, the workers of iniquity, This is the book of Revelation, chapter 12, chapter 22, verse 7. Behold, I come quickly. Blessed is he that keepeth the saints of the prophecy of this book. So this is what this is about. One dominion being translated unto another to speak the prophecies of this book, which is the spirit of Yahweh Shai Mashiach, who you call Jesus Christ. It's the spirit of prophecy as written in the book of Revelation. Verse 8, Revelation 22 and 8, And I saw these things and heard them. When I heard and seen, I fell down to worship before the feet of the angel which showed me these things. So he saw America, Babylon, the great being melted by nuclear destruction. He saw two-thirds of our people being burnt up in that lake of fire after they took the mark of the beast, the brand of the beast, which is the RFID chip. He saw two-thirds of our people walking after the ways of rebellion, walking in amongst the workers of iniquity, and helping the oppressor to oppress God's chosen people. He saw the chariots of the Heavenly Father delivering up his elect, so-called UFOs, out of America, Babylon the Great, before he got destroyed. These are the prophecies spoken of in the Holy Bible. Revelation 22 and 6 And he said unto me, These sayings are faithful and true. And the Lord God of the holy prophets sent his angel to shew unto his servants those things which surely must be done. Revelation 22 and 9. Then saith he unto me, See thou do it not, for I am thy fellow servant, and of thy brethren, the prophets, and of them which keep the sayings of this book. So we are keeping the saints of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, who prophesied in destruction to America, Babylon the Great. We're warning the remnant of our people to return back to the nationality, seek the wisdom of this book, right before the destruction hits America, Babylon the Great. This is the everlasting gospel. We're in the acceptable time, which is why we're out here, starting with the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, to warn you of these things that will come to pass. And they're coming to pass shortly. And they will happen. Don't say it the Holy Bible. Don't say it Yahweh. These are the words of prophecy. This is what the Holy Bible is about. The Bible is about the Most High and His chosen people. You so-called Black, Hispanic, and Native Americans. And in the last days, there will be great division. There will be great destruction that come upon Babylon the Great, which is America. Revelation 22 and 10. And he said unto me, See you not the saints of the prophecy of this book, for the time is at hand. So the time is at hand. We're not hiding the counsel of the Heavenly Father. These things are will come to pass. And these words are tried and true. God, because they were written in the heavens, they were ordained from the foundation of creation. Which is why those that return back to their nationality, they were with the Heavenly Father since the beginning. And these things, again, they were written in the heavens. They were just playing out, being played out on planet Earth. So the Most High establishes one thing to bring down another. Revelation 22 and 14. Blessed are they that do His commandments, that they may have right to the tree of life 
and may enter and throw the gates into the city. Second Edwards chapter 6 and verse 7. So this is about one dominion being established after another. Jacob is the beginning of the world. Esau is, is, is the thing, is the, um, Esau is the beginning of the world. Jacob is the, uh, the beginning that followed. Second Edwards 6 and 9. The Esau is the end of the world. Jacob is the beginning of it that followed. Romans 9, 13. Jacob have I loved, Esau have I hated. Malachi 1 and 4, the border of wickedness. These are the Edomites, the so-called white man. The children of Esau came out well all over red. He came out well all over like every garment. Genesis chapter 25, verse 25. The twin brother of Jacob. We are the sons of Jacob, the 12 tribes of Israel. You so-called black, Hispanic, Native Americans. Esau, the so-called white man, is our twin brother. He came out all red like every garment. He's had a perpetual hatred with us throughout the generations. And he is the wicked of the earth. So this is about one dominion being handed unto another. And how is it going to happen? By Yahweh Shai Mashiach, who you call Jesus Christ, coming to pump Babylon away with the so-called UFOs, the chariots of the Heavenly Father to melt up two-thirds of our people, to melt you heathens with the, with the fire coming out of the so-called UFOs. Be a, the, also be at the ICBM missiles coming upon Babylon the Great, World War III, Great Famine, Great Death, coming upon the old earth. This is Revelation. Chapter 7, verse 4. And I heard a number of them which were sealed, and they were sealed of 144,000 of all the tribes of the children of Israel. So the Most High is dealing with the 12 tribes of Israel from beginning on to end. These are God's chosen people. These are those that have that testimony, the everlasting gospel in these latter days. They have the true understanding of the Holy Bible. And